hello my little butternut squashes today's video I'm gonna be showing you how I did this kind of blue aquamarine indigo inspired eye tutorial I don't know what I'm gonna call it but spoiler alert I'm feeling myself <laughs> so if you would like to kind of follow along with this tutorial or just want to watch me put on makeup and have some time to kill or you are actually really interested in doing this look and then keep on watching okay first we are priming the face with MAC Fix Plus. Duh. I've been obsessed with using this little one. Mm. I must say that Rose is probably my favorite scent after original. I don't really like the scented ones that much. They kind of taste, or not taste, what is it? You're like, girl, we know you love MAC Fix Plus, but not that much. <laughs> um, it They kind of smell like old perfume to me. Like they kind of been, they, they smell like stale water mixed with a little bit of like body spray. I don't know, I don't like them. I like the regular original. That one smells like the freaking bomb to me. But the rose is a close second. I do like the rose. We all know about that CoverGirl True Blend. I've been obsessed with using this. I did feel like in the last video I did, I went in like super heavy on this side. So I'm gonna go back to dotting it around like I normally do. Um, just because I don't know, I just feel like this makes it a little more even. That's good, right? Oh, we need some more over here. We need some more over here. Just call me Foundation Chicken Pox. That'd be the best kind of chicken pox to have, honestly. So recently I've been loving buffing out foundation with a brush first. Kind of getting like an all over even base layer. And then I love taking a beauty sponge, any beauty sponge, but I like the Real Techniques one or the Flower Beauty one. And I spray that sponge with MAC Fix Plus and then I dab it all over the face. And I don't know why, I just feel like a brush just helps get it done quicker, in my opinion. You just like, especially like even like my M439 that's bigger than this one, it's just done. Right? See how easy that blended out? If I had been here blending with a sponge, we would have been here for hours. And then. I go in with my sponge and just kind of blend out the whole thing with the MAC Fix Plus kind of sealing it in, I guess. I don't know. I just like doing that. So I just like. It's like a little bit damp and then I just go in and make sure everything is to my liking. I'm gonna take this MAC Full Coverage Concealer. I'm just gonna pick a little bit up on my brush and then I'm just gonna tap this under the eye. I feel like MAC Full Coverage Foundation is not a foundation, um, at least for people with oily skin. I don't think that it's like a good foundation as far as like all over. Oh my gosh, it gets so oily on me. But look how nice it is to just like go in and conceal. So that's why I just like tap my brush in here and then I just like do 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 and you can already see this is starting to work. Boom. Done with you. Done with you, mole. Okay, so now we are going to powder. So again, I'm going to spray this end of my brush. As you can see, there's already been powder on that side. And I'm going to put a ton on here. Like the kind you see only beauty gurus doing. That's the amount of powder I'm putting on here. Now, if this is not baking the face, I don't know what is. Ta-da! Okay, I'm not gonna lie, these are some big ass brows today. Okay, so what should we do next? I think that we should do the eyes. So today I'm really stepping out of my comfort zone, I'm kind of scared. And I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette. I haven't done a ton of tutorials with this, but I love this palette. I think you get a lot of colors in here and it's pretty affordable. I think this was like, maybe 20 bucks for this palette. And I really, really like that you get two rows of neutrals and two rows of color. And I like that they're together because then you can look at this and it'll kind of inspire you instead of seeing like, you know, I, I can appreciate an all colorful palette or all warm tone palette. But if you were just seeing this all the time, you'd just always use these. And I think it's cool to see these colors down here because you can really incorporate a lot of these in here with these too. So, you know, lady in the street but a freak in the bed 
but I tricked you. I'm actually going to go with another palette first. It's not even really an eyeshadow palette, but I'm going to be taking this contour shade. It's called um, S112, S for Sculpt 112. It's like the lightest sculpting shade from Makeup Forever. And I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm just going to dunk in here a few times, wipe off the excess, and then just go right into my crease really light. Um, I just wanted the nice brown base for this you don't have to make this like super duper pigmented or anything like that just a nice soft brown kind of contour to the eye if you feel me this will also help if there is any like liquid foundation on the eye or anything like that you can kind of like set it with this so as you can see my eyes have a, like a little something something to them but not like a ton okay so I'm gonna actually take an M uh, oh, I'm sorry, I lied, I lied. This is a MAC 242 flat synthetic little dense packing brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade down here, kind of like this really beautiful indigo. It's called um, Shy or Chi, whatever you want to say. And I'm going to pick a little bit up on the end here. So not coating the whole brush. And I am actually going to map out my eye. This sounds weird, but bear with me. So I'm gonna like start placing this onto the eye and I kinda want that cat eye effect. So I'm gonna flick it out like this and then I'm gonna start building it up like this. So I'm like creating the shape. Now I'm going and I'm just kind of packing this blue color all over the lid. It looks a little patchy and not so saturated right now but don't worry there's a method to the madness people as you can see on this one I created like a similar outline and then I'll go and fill it in okay so here's where we get to let loose and now I'm gonna pick up the shade Dahlia it's this like just I don't know a perfect like blue it's so pretty to look at oh my goodness I mean, all the blues in this are really pretty. Now I'm going to take this on a different little blending brush, and I'm just going to coat the top just like this, as you can see here. And I am just going to start blending right in the middle, finishing out the rest of this shape. And you can go right over this, like, indigo color, chi and just put Dahlia all over, baby. Oh, this looks fire already. So as you can see, I'm just lightly flicking out to the end part. I'm not like perfectly retracing that. If you can um, catch my idea. I'm kind of concentrating most of Dahlia, the lighter blue in the center, really building up that color and then just kind of flicking the excess off. So that way it's kind of blending in with the darker blue and it's not looking like blue, Dark blue, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of gradient. Now I know that they're not perfectly even. Okay, if you look, this one's like a little higher and more boop, and this one's a little more boop. Okay, I will go and fix that with the flat brush in just a second, and then I'm gonna clean off the flat brush and I'm going to go in with another color. <laughs> So now I'm taking this MAC 195 brush, kind of like this flat pointed brush with a little bit of NARS um, Chantilly and I'm just going to cut the crease just a little bit. So now that we have cut the crease, I'm going to go in with the shade Zola. It's like this beautiful aquamarine. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And I'm really just going to pick a bunch of this up on here. And I'm going to spray it with a little MAC Fix Plus because I really want to punch this right there in the corner. We're just going to fade this one into the other two. The MAC 242 is so good because not only is it good for packing, as you can see, like it's good for like... But it's also like really thin so you can really carve whatever you want to carve out. So again, to get this really nice gradient where you can't kind of tell where it stops and starts, I'm really packing really close. So I'm really going in and packing 
and then I'm kind of brushing the rest out with a really light hand. So really harsh hand and then blowing this into the other one really, really lightly. And you know, remember when we're doing our makeup up close, we need to scale back and kind of go, So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Giza. It's a nice, creamy, perfect inner corner highlight. And just drop that bad boy in there. It's okay if it mixes a little with the blue, it'll look pretty. Even more of that gradient effect, right? Like really light in the corner. Perfect. And I am also gonna sweep a little bit of this also under my brow bone. Just right there in the middle. Now we can finally sweep away all of this powder. So I am going to take this big old brush that I always use and I'm just gonna start buffing away all of the powder. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, now we're starting to look like a human again, right? So now that we have all this powder on the face, I am gonna go and set my face with MAC Fix Plus really quick, just because I like to layer the MAC Fix Plus on top of the foundation and powder as I go. Now, to do the bottom portion of the eye, I'm literally just going to mix Shy with Dahlia on my MAC 242. Easy, easy. Now I'm gonna take a cleanish fluffy brush and just go right under here, really smoking this bad boy out. This might seem like a lot of eyeshadow, you guys, and it is. But I wanted to do something fun and different. So. Now I'm just gonna take a little more of Zola, this light shade, and I'm kind of just going to bring it up here a little bit more. Just kind of on the top part. Okay, I think we can finally move on from the eyes for a quick second before we do lashes because I'm not going to do any eyeliner because you guys know I'm not the biggest on liquid liner and stuff. So we already got so much going on with the eyes. I want you guys to really be able to see that. So now I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Contour Palette. Now just by looking at this, this is not like the best for contour shade. Like I feel like S112, that is a contour shade. Contour shades really have to be, like if you really are really trying to sculpt and everything, it has to be really cool toned like this one. I personally think that the only, like even close to ones are these two on the ends. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to go in with a mixture of these two because I'm not trying to do anything like crazy. The eyes are crazy enough. So I'm just gonna take my Morphe Y3 and I'm going to press into these powders. Ooh. I've never used this before. Do we love it? Do we not love it? I actually kind of like it. It's a little harsh, but we fix it, we fix it. Ooh, okay. Okay, I like it. It's a little darker um, than what I would normally wear, but not terrible. I really like this. And just remember, if you always go in too heavy with bronzer, just take that powder brush and veil that crap out, honey. Don't be scared. I'm gonna go into this Morphe blush palette. This is the 9B. I know this is not one of their newer ones, but I've only used this like never, so I'm excited. I think I'm gonna go in with like this hot shade up here and kind of mix it with this first shade. So this one and this one. This is kind of cool because then you can kind of make like your own little cocktail. Ooh, these are nice. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot, honey. Oh, I love that like sunburnt look to the cheeks. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my glowy side of my Bare Minerals powder to just um, veil everything together, kind of 
bring back some life to the face. You guys know I love, love, love this step in my routine now. There we go. There she is. Hi. <laughs> okay. So I put my lashes on. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite faux flawless Nicole Guerrero ones. So now moving on to the final step, which is highlighter and lips. I'm gonna grab this lip liner by Pop Beauty. It's in the shade Ritzy Rosette. It's kind of just like a nice, um, like pinky mauve. And I'm just gonna line my lips with it. So when I went to film the lip liner portion of this video, I completely cut off half of my face. So I had to cut that all out of my editing. Nice job, rookie. Please stay seated in your ride vehicle, folks. The attraction will begin momentarily. I'll just leave it like this. Hey! Now I'm going to take a lippy stick from Colourpop and I haven't seen one of these in forever. And this is in the shade Faded. This is their cream formula. Um, it's very creamy. I'm going to take this lip brush. This is a Morphe M17010. And I'm just going to blend this out. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Dang. The formula is creamy, but whoa, they kill it with this pigment. And I love this color faded. It's just such a nice, like, I'm not the biggest fan of pinks, but this is like a nice pink with like a little bit of coral in it. It has a little touch of red in it. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Last but not least is highlighter. I'm going to be using my Pixie by Aspen Ovard. This is just a nice highlight to the face. Just a nice like vanilla shade. I kind of like a shade like this because it's not so white to where it's icy, but it's not too yellow to where it's like gold and then you feel like you can only kind of wear it with bronzy looks. You know what I mean? Does anyone else feel that way? I mean, there's no rules on the channel. Do whatever you want. Just giving you my little two cents of why I do the things I do. Really wild today, I'm on the edge. I'm gonna actually go into my Makeup Forever palette and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. I don't know if you can see it. When you look at it, it's like a very, very pale pink, um, but it's like a rose gold type shade. This isn't like the best swatch, but these powders just look so beautiful on the skin. So I'm gonna pick some up and then I'm gonna spray it with MAC Fix Plus. And then I will just go right over top of that other one with this one. Ah! These Makeup Forever powders, especially like the highlight, oh my gosh, they just melt right into the skin. They're just such a nice highlighter. Not like the most blinding, but definitely like a little something something, you know what I'm saying? Got my all nighter. I'm going to. <sighs> I'm a new woman. Got any lipstick on my teeth? No, I do not. Now I'm dabbing my sponge a little bit just because I love all nighter and it really does set well, but it is like, it leaves the droplets on your face, you know what I mean? So you gotta be a little bit careful. Ah, the look is finished. Ah. Do you guys love it? It's definitely not your everyday, but it is fun for something a little more wild, but it's still pretty complimentary to the eyes. I know everyone hates on blue eyeshadow, but I think like just for something fun and kind of like, hey, I'm here, I'm ready to party. I like this and I love how gradient it is like just going from side to side you're kind of like okay it just kind of fades into one another anyways thank you for sitting with me through another makeup tutorial I just like makeup tutorial I just love watching a good tutorial that you can just kind of listen to the soothing sounds of my loud ass mouth <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I love you guys so much. Thank you always for loving and supporting me, and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta.